So there's just berry and fruit all over the property in year three now. I'm eating strawberries in the background here in these two beds. I'm posting videos about those. We've been eating strawberries for a month now. It's June 4th. So end of, end of April we're starting to get those. These black raspberries are just ripening now. Had a handful of those this morning. After that will be the blackberries. Multiple varieties of those. That'll take us right through to the fall. And the gooseberries and the gummy berries. Don't get as many of those, but still a tasty treat. And the currants. And the elderberries will be next, actually. Same time as the black red. You can see I've chopped and dropped all this this morning. We leave that on site, let it turn into soil. No sense taking it to the curb. Over on this grow bed, we have the strawberries. this as we walk through the rest of them. So like I said, those strawberries have been bearing for a month now. And all along this <clears throat> outside fence of the annual garden is the black raspberries. Oh geez, close to 10 gallons at this point of those. Another blueberry. Lemon balm. Some grapes. More blueberries. So where the pear tree's there, it's a moon glow I believe. Another one there, that's an Ayers. It's a Filbert Hazelnut, Theta. There's another one there, I'm not sure what that variety is. I believe I was gifted that one. It's an Anna Apple. It's one of our pollinators, it's new this year. These are all blackberries down there, I don't know how we can make them out, but thousands. These are our oldest grapes here. Again, we just use compost tea and neem oil, so we, we lose some to nature, but that's the fair share part. That side over there we'll go to now is the food forest side. It's kind of all the food forest. Oh, hey, look here. Let's just tickle them and they come off. That one's not quite ready, but I'm going to take it anyways. Some more blueberries. Mm, first one of the year is getting close. I'm going to have to cover them up. Thought of this mint for ground cover. It's a spearmint. It's a chocolate mint. We walk through it, it springs back up. So as you walk around, it just smells fabulous. And it drives the bugs away. They don't like the smell of it. So there's mints, spearmint, chocolate mint, peppermint, lemon balm. All those use as ground covers. It's young sunflowers, clovers, hairy vetch, Austrian winter peas. These are stinging nettles here. Use those in teas and our compost teas and my, our personal teas that we consume. It's Nanking cherry, gumi berry, currant, josta berry. Autumn olives, the nitrogen fixer in the middle. These are wine berries. More blackberries in the background you can see. There's some of the gooseberries. Actually, these are currants, I believe. 
Apple Tree Guild there. There's a lot going on, but you can see the bee balm getting ready to flower in the front, and the fennel, horseradish, comfrey around the front. A few too many Jerusalem artichokes in there. That might have been a mistake. I got a cucumber out front, some tomatoes mixed in, a few blackberry plants, some velvet sage, purple sage, pink lamb's quarter, clover. Don't know what that snowball-y looking plant is. It's just starting to get some pink flowers, purple flowers on it. It's a little fig in the background. Some gummy berry. And all those elderberries are all from one cutting we put on the ground. They're all over here. We take cuttings and stick them in every year. But they didn't take long. It's more comfrey. Another hazelnut in the background. More comfrey. More elderberries. These are a yellow raspberry. Just starting to come in. They're nice because the birds don't eat them. Birds keen on them when they're red. Some strawberries underneath. Squash. Goldenrod for the bees. More elderberry. Another apple tree tucked in the back. Potato hugo bed. More elderberries in the back of that. Three plum trees up here. Another apple tree. Asia, uh, Asian pear there. Gummies and currants and strawberries for the berries underneath. Lots of lilies and clover. And I don't see any vetch in here. I've been pointing them all out, but there's lots of figs all over the property. It's like elderberry, just stick a cutting and stick it in the ground. What? 